Don't count the days, make the days count. That's from the legendary Muhammad Ali who died lately. Let's go. More bikes. Um, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com and today I just wanted to uh, do a video about the the legend that was Muhammad Ali and some of his more inspiring quotes you know the guy had a good mouth on him you know that's for sure but it wasn't just about dishing people he was about motivation and being the person that you wanted to be when you see where he came from you see the color of his skin and what he did at the time that he did it um yeah he's a big hero of mine so the first quote is i'm going to read this one because it's a pretty long one i run on the road long before i dance under the lights i hated every minute of training but i said don't quit suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion that's what i'm always saying about put up with the shit now you know stop giving in to your instant gratification for your instant and you know for that immediate needy self that is always there wanting to grab a slice of life that you're only going to end up paying for later so when you go through your life and you chase after the long-term goals you'll suffer now in this moment but the cost of not doing that the cost of taking the uh, easy way out taking the, the pleasure now is pain later on and you'll suffer greatly for what you've done to yourself but if you take the pain now and go through that discomfort now that it's going to take you to go away from alcohol you know you're going to reap the benefits later on forget the alcohol don't focus on the alcohol don't focus on what you're leaving behind focus on what you're going to achieve by getting that alcohol out of your life by getting that out of your system it won't take long once you get over the initial few days it gets easier and easier and easier then you're moving towards something great um, this next one is about your desire for life your dreaming and visualizations right and he says champions aren't made in gyms champions are made from something they have deep inside them a desire a dream a vision now, i talk about this a lot uh, visualization you can use visualization um, I'm not talking about sleeping dreams, but waking dreams. When you sit there and deliberately, um, systematically, consciously visualize what you want your future to look like. And if you can do that hard enough, if you can do that well, really visualize, you know, see yourself in the position that you want to be. Hear yourself in that, you know, hear the things that are happening around you. See the things that are happening around you. Smell what it's like to be there physically try and be there as much as you can in your mind your mind is, imagination is a great tool you know you can use this to do all these things to use all your senses you can get all your senses running uh, and helping you along if you can do this you can make that vision strong and make the stronger you make that vision the uh, easier it will be to follow it you know and to it'll create its own momentum it'll pull you forwards towards it so dream big have a passion about your dreams and visualize what it is that you want in your life stop looking at the alcohol and thinking oh i wish i could have a pint now or i wish i could down that that's bullshit you know you're wishing for something that is going to kill you it's not good for you it's crap you're putting crap into your body wish for things that are going to help you you know 
this is not fairyland where you can wish for all the self-gratification that you want and then you use your second wish to make everything better again you can't do that you know whatever you take now there's long-term consequences dream big go for it chase after the goals that you want leave the shit behind the next one is about affirming yourself right being what you need in your life affirming yourself there's a few quotes in this one that he you know i think he just nailed this he was the the uh, the master of this affirmation stuff he said float like a butterfly sting like a bee nobody can beat muhammad ali um he also said it's the repetition of affirmations that leads to belief right and once that belief comes uh, and once that belief becomes a deep conviction things begin to happen he also said if you dream of beating me you better wake up and apologize and he said i'm the greatest of all time it's hard to be humble when you're as great as i am and he just kept saying that over and over not just to himself but out loud with strength and conviction right this is one of the things I did at the beginning was I had um, a lot of affirmations that, that I, I wrote down. Um, some of them I, I got from, I made up myself. Some of them I got from the internet. And I can't remember them all, so I'm going to go into them here. Uh, I think I got some of them from the back of Alan Carr's book, um, A Way to Control Your Alcohol or to Trip Your Own Ass Up, you know. Um, uh, and these affirmations, what I did was, I think there was... 15 of them I think so anyway what I did was I had these written out so every morning I'd get up and I'd copy these uh, affirmations and I'd say them out loud and I'd say them with conviction then I'd repeat them again and I'd do them a third time and before I went to bed in the evening I did exactly the same thing you know some of them were I'm never going to drink alcohol again I am now a teetotaler I hate alcohol um, alcohol is an enemy of mine and I can't wait to see the bastard die stuff like that and i did that over and over and over again for maybe six weeks and um, by the end of it i didn't even have to look what i could copy it down word for word from my my mind you know and i'd start just was going through these in my head um whenever i felt weak or felt the need for it so that's the power of affirmations um the next one is change uh, he said, a man who views the world the same at 50 as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life, right? Change happens, right? This is, is a natural part of our lives. Um, and most of the time, change is going to happen to you, regardless of whether you like it or not, whether you try and stop it or not, change is going to happen. And... Uh, the only thing that you can do to alter this change is to grab a hold of the reins and steer where you want the change to go as much as you possibly can, right? Don't let it just happen to you, you know? You don't have to do that. You know, people don't have to get old um, in sort of a crappy, shitty way, you know? I mean, something might happen to you. You never know. I don't know. You know, it's, if a car comes up, runs you down and... Um, you've got broken legs for the rest of your life <sighs> you know there's some things that you just can't do anything about right so that's natural change it's change that's happened because it's just happened tough shit right you have to deal with that but a lot of change in your life you can deal with yourself like stop in drinking alcohol like focusing your mind on the future instead of the past like getting cigarettes out of your mouth like changing your diet like getting out and exercising like making sure you don't burn the candle at both ends and get enough sleep in your life making sure you put these positive affirmations in your life not only about quitting drinking not only about your future goals but about everyday situations about you personally you know building your own confidence up getting yourself into the position where you feel good about yourself you feel confident about yourself you feel excited about your future you know you're anticipating tomorrow and the next day and the next day 
you know, that's what these things do for you if you let it, you know, you have the power to do that yourself. So always be on the lookout for change where you can make the changes. Um, the next one, have a little spin, is um, what keeps me going is, what keeps me going is goals, right? Um, and it's the same thing, this is what I, I'm always saying to you, you know, it's not, don't be looking backwards. This is just, it's, it's negative thinking, right? Looking backwards and not looking backwards at your, your past. You know, you, sometimes you have to look backwards and you have to learn from your mistakes. You have to learn from the shit that you've done in the past. And then when you learn from that, you don't repeat it, right? I'm not talking about that, right? Um, I'm talking about don't be pining for the alcohol and thinking that the alcohol has got anything to offer you because it hasn't it's got absolutely fuck all to offer you right nothing right anything that you think you can get from alcohol you can get 10 times better from something else if you think alcohol is giving you relaxation try yoga and meditation you'll feel you won't know yourself after it you know you have to give it time you have to pursue it you have to have it as a long-term goal um, it's not something that's going to happen overnight you know you're not going to all of a sudden sit down to meditation and go oh yeah man i feel it you know i feel at peace with myself i'm completely relaxed more than likely you're going to feel like a dick when you first do it but stick it out you know um if you feel like you're socializing with alcohol think again right it doesn't happen socializing with alcohol is just it's a, a an old wife's tale it's a fairy tale that we love to tell ourselves but it's not true because the more alcohol you drink, the more inside yourself you go, the more internal you, you take yourself. So how is that anyway near socializing? Socializing without alcohol, socializing because you're buzzing and you're with people that are buzzing also, socializing with people who are all aiming themselves towards the future. That's the thing that is real socializing. That's the thing that's gonna pull you forwards into your new life. They're not this bullshit of going, oh yeah, man. Uh, oh, me and my buddy here, you know, he's my best friend, you know, everybody is your best friend, even trees are trying to pull your hat off of your best friends when you've had a few drinks, you know, how many times did I go, oh yeah, somebody that I loathed when I was drunk, uh, when I was sober, and then when I got drunk, it was like, yeah, everything's forgiven, I don't think you're a bastard, you know. A lot worse than that I caused them but there's certain words that I won't say even on this I like saying some words but there's some words I won't say uh, anyway that's the thing long-term goals it's a big thing a big thing in my life and it should be a big thing in your life because if you've got the right long-term goals you've got the right motivation to go forwards towards them you've got the right persistence <sighs> I'm just buzzing now I've just had a uh, pure fruit juice that I squeezed and put through my machine this morning took it into my system now and it's like uh, that's natural shit it's natural natural buzz right there food for the body food for the mind food for the soul anyway the last one is uh, the fight is won or lost far away from witnesses behind the limes, in the gym, and out there on the road, long before I dance on, under the lights. I think that was the same as the first one, wasn't it? But, um, oh, there's something come up on this. Can you see that? No, maybe you did. It's just a notification that came up on the screen. Um, so the fight is won or lost, yeah. Before, before you get out there, before he got into the ring, before he did all that stuff, you know, you don't succeed in this thing by wishing that you can succeed or, you know, by affirmations, by dreaming the big dream, by setting yourself goals or anything like that. You succeed in this life by taking the end action. Um, all the rest of it is just fairy talk until you get to that stage. You know, if you can't take the action and you can't step across start in line to your new fantastic brilliant excellent new beginning right 
your new life that's waiting for you if you do all the right things if you cannot step across that starting line and take the actions that you need to take in the moment then you'll never succeed so that was just a few of the quotes that um, I thought were pertinent to you know what I'm talking about and the, the guy was just full of them so full of them and I know he was he was 75 he was suffering in the, the latter stages of his life you know uh, and I think he died from I think it was sepsis that got him in the end it was something that got into his blood and you know and they say that I think it was one of his daughters that said that when he was um, dying uh, all his other organs shut down but his heart just kept on going and going and going and refused to give up and that was Ali to me you know was just somebody who was determined to achieve greatness he wanted to be the greatest he wanted to be um, the best at what he did and he achieved that in my mind and in a lot of people's mind you know it wasn't everyone's cup of tea but he was mine um, I see a lot of what he does in Conor McGregor. Uh, he's a UFC man. Uh, Conor's a bit more rough around the edges. Um, he's a young guy. Um, but I see that same bravado. And I can see it uh, completely. Muhammad Ali's influence on, on McGregor. But I think he's a, a person that's going to go a long way because he's got that spirit in him, that motivation and that drive to achieve something um, great in his life, you know. Uh, and again, he's, uh, he's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like the man because I'm a dub and I know where he came from, you know. So, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of McGregor. Anyway, this was about Ali. Um, may you rest in peace, big guy. And uh, don't be causing too many fights up there, will you? <laughs> Till next time, uh, if you have any comments at all, if you want to see the... Uh, transcript of this or the audio come on over to the website if you want to um, become a patron of the show then you can go and visit our uh, patron page I think it's uh, uh, what is it patreon it's a patreon page not the patron page it's the patreon two separate words but they sound very similar anyway uh, patreon I think it's alcohol mastery anyway if you go over to the website and if you want to become a, pat uh, a patron for us on Patreon, you can click the link there in the sidebar and that'll take you to the Patreon page and you find out all about it there. There's a video there explaining it all. Uh, until next time, have a great day. Um, enjoy yourself, keep your spirits up, uh, keep your goals in front of you and the alcohol behind you, especially don't put it into your mouth. Uh, stay healthy. I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Onwards and upwards.